<laughs> Run it back. My name is Avie McCauley. I am one of the producers on Stampede. So as a producer, I kind of take care of the team. I make sure they have everything that they need in order to create the features, um, that everybody is aligned, and informing stakeholders if there's an issue or if you know everything's going great, being transparent, you know, being honest, making sure that everybody knows this is where we're at, this is not going to happen, this is going to happen. Hello, uh, my name is Aaron. I'm a senior producer here at Surrey Leamington working on Stampede, uh, and it's my job to make sure that uh, the team is running well, they've all got the work they need to do, and they're all happy while they're doing it. So a sprint is really just a set number of weeks or work days that you commit to working on and you have an achievable goal at the end. We have certain ceremonies that we perform each week. Um, so every day there's a stand-up, everyone talks about how they're getting on, what if they need help with anything, um, anything urgent that needs to be raised. We have play tests every Thursday, which is really good to see kind of the quality of the build if there's anything that slipped. The next big one would be the sprint review, where everybody on the team puts in a slide into a PowerPoint and celebrate what they did. In my role I work a lot with uh, helping communication between the live ops team uh, and the development team and, and what that generally means is uh, the Live Ops team is comprised of data people and uh, product people and so they have various reasons why they think the game should have certain bits in it. This is what we think people like based on this piece of data, based on this piece of research and then that gets translated into a feature within the game. So be that, you know, the cart should do this, the power up should do that. Uh, that then gets translated into a request that goes down to the dev team and we say, okay, can we deliver this? Is this deliverable within the time we've got? Then we break it down and it's usually a back and forth that says, you want the moon, we can give you the stars, that kind of thing. Live service games, as opposed to what I would suppose you would call the AAA model of a single gold disc release, is uh, it's always out there, it's always under people's scrutiny and we always have the ability to change it without great big updates or people buying new DLCs to fix problems with the existing game. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really just taking on board the feedback and the data and making sure that the product is, is always getting better and always doing new and interesting things. Also really valuable experience for someone to work on a live product as well. So if there's a bug and you could go in, you fix it and then you feel like Superman, it's awesome. <laughs> but you also don't have to be Superman every day of the week as well. 